Another day of evidence put before the commission being disputed. I was requested by Mr. Gavin Watson to make a payment for Mr. Smith's daughter to study at Aberystwyth University. Last year, former Busasa COO Angela Grizzi said the money he gave to Smith was not a loan and came from Busasa. So help me God. Thank you. Why would you go and borrow money from a company that had been, that is clearly involved, that is not, not clearly, that is reported to have been involved in corruption? Bart Smith told a different story. He testified that he had a loan from Agrizi and not Busasa, and claimed there had been no terms and conditions attached to the loan agreement. He said the money was meant to pay for the university fees for his daughter overseas. On your version, this payment was in terms of a loan, a verbal loan agreement that you concluded with Mr. Agrizi in 2015. On his version, this was corruption. I don't believe that there was a instruction from Bosasa, if you can call it Bosasa, to pay this money. My loan was with Mr. Agrizi and not Gavin Watson. Smith's testimony was further challenged. When you saw this, you see it's a car accident settlement. Did you not, did you not worry you that this does not come as a loan of Mr. It's come as a car accident settlement. I never noticed that, Chairperson, and if I did, I at the time didn't reflect it. I must be honest, I didn't reflect upon it at the time, Chairperson. At this point, Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo expressed shock about the level of corruption around personal protective equipment while the country was still finding answers to state capture. If you think about the fact that this commission has been sitting since 2018, hearing evidence of wrongdoing and corruption and so on and so on, you would not think that the kind of corruption that we are told about in regard to PPE would be happening. But it, it's like people say, nothing will happen. So we can just continue as, as, as normal, you know. And another benefit from Busasa. You don't dispute this, that Busasa installed a security cameras at your place? On at least three other occasions, Jefferson, I had asked the late Gavin Watson to provide me with the invoice uh, because the job had been done. So it was not that it was a freebie. I had requested for an invoice from Gavin Watson, which was never forthcoming, Jefferson. Meanwhile, okay. a food for thought for members of parliament, cabinet members, and the presidency. If Mr. Agrizi's evidence before this commission is true, or, or some of it, if it's true, one gets the impression that Bosasa may have wanted to capture some people in parliament, legislature, some people um, in cabinet and even the president during President Zuma's time. I'm saying this because they've, they've given evidence, Mr. Chris gave evidence about uh, alleged payments uh, that he said were being made by Busasa to the Jacob Zuma Foundation through Mr. Dumien. It also requires heads of state. Then Mr. Agrizi's evidence correctly were meant to for the for the then president. And then of course he has given evidence about some people, some ministers. He has given evidence about people in the legislature. It may well be that if the, his evidence is true, Busasa sought to do to do this. The commission will resume next week. We are Jen. Ntanta Katani, SCBC News, Johannesburg.